Hey guys, welcome to One Little Coder. This is our Excel to R series in which we try to do a task, Excel task on R for us to understand how easy it is and how beneficial it is to do something on R. So in that uh, series, in the last video, we had seen VLOOKUP, but when I was going through VLOOKUP, I had also mentioned that we are going to look at only the exact match, not the approximate match. To give you a sense of it, if you want to do VLOOKUP, let's say in this case, I've got two sheets. One is called sheet. The other one is called main. And I'm, I, I want to now copy these values from this sheet to my sheet. Okay. So let's call it stock, this column. And I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. When I do a VLOOKUP, uh, VLOOKUP, the first value and uh, the table, which is this one, comma, I want the second value and uh, I want exact match. Let's start with exact match. When you do this thing and when you drag it, you would find out that uh, you have, sorry, I have not locked the column. Okay. When you do this thing and when you drag it, you would see that every value has been matched except Apple in COP. Because in the main sheet, we have only Apple Inc, not Apple in COP. So this is where your approximate match or also known as fuzzy match comes into play where Excel internally tries to find out which is the closest word for this given word that you are trying to match and then it would do the match. So only for this value, let us say instead of false, which is for exact match, let's say we want approximate match. When you do that and press enter, you actually get the value 300, which is placed against Apple Inc. So Excel, Microsoft Excel has internally figured out that, okay, Apple Inc is the closest one to Apple Inc from all these options. Like when you compare it with Microsoft, Google or Facebook, and that is how it has matched this thing. And this is called as a par, uh, approximate match of VLOOKUP. And it is quite handy when you handle a lot of, um, uh, not clean data set, let's say like survey data set or census data set in those cases. Uh, and now we are going to look at how to do the same task on Microsoft, sorry, um, R Studio R. Okay. So the way we are going to do that is using a package called fuzzy join in case, if you do not have that package, um, let's, let me first show you what will happen when you don't have the package. When you don't have the package, when you try to load the package, you would get an error like this package not available, which means this package is not installed. So let's first install packages fuzzy join while it is getting installed. Let's go to the packages GitHub repo. So let's see who's the developer. Developer is David Robinson, quite a popular figure in our community. So he has a nice channel uh, on YouTube, which you can follow. Um, so David Robinson, huge shout out to him. Thank you for this package. This package helps you do fuzzy join, which means it helps you join two different tables, data frames on approximate or inexact matching in its own words, which means you don't have to have exact matching. You can do it on inexact matching and it has a lot of functions. Uh, so you can do with respect to string, like the example just we just now saw, you can do it with numeric values also. You can do it with regular expressions and you have a lot of other options like geographic distance, Euclidean distance, all those things. So we are going to look at only the case that we just looked at, which is in this case, it is a string match. So that's the only thing that we are going to look at, but you are free to explore uh, the other options. And you, if you have question, you can let me know. So now we can see that this package has been successfully installed and uh, let us load tidyverse also, where we will first initially do the actual lookup that we did uh, in the previous class, uh, sorry, previous video. And then we are going to do the fuzzy join. Okay. So let's load both the packages. Two packages have been successfully loaded. So now we are going to recreate this, this one, this one, and uh, the main one. So you can see that in the first one, you have only one column, which is to say that uh, the second column we have to create. And then the second main data frame, uh, you have uh, two columns. One is the company name and the other one is the value. So also you can see that I've got one Apple Inc and then the other one is Apple Inc Corp. and um, you have uh, Microsoft, Google, all these other companies. So now first let us try the first left join. So the way we do uh, left join is in this case is, so you have the left, you can do it in multiple ways. You can do it like this also, left join and say, what is your left? Your left is sheet, your right is main 
and on what you want to join it you want to join it on the basis of company because the column name is company company and it is company it could be id or anything in your case in our example it is company so let's run it and you can see that it has successfully taken value and uh, only for apple in cop it is na for everything else it uh, it has matched the value and it is primarily because the same reason we know because left join works based on exact matching it was looking for exact matching but what we actually want is approximator fuzzy matching so let's let's do approximator fuzzy matching the way we can do it is within fuzzy join there is a function called string distance left join so which means this left join works based on string distance so string distance is to find out how close to string values or characters or words are okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to do sheet main sorry main and oops main and by is equal to company but we are going to add one more detail to say that what is the distance max distance what is the maximum distance I'll show you the documentation first string dist left join and you look at it you can actually see the arguments that you can pass maximum distance method what kind of distance method that you want to follow which is out of scope of this video so what we are going to focus particularly in this in this particular example is the maximum distance it is to say that number of distance number of characters you want to look when you want to do this matching okay so max distance is very important and if you can see from our example uh, we are matching until this point and we are not matching with for the extra three characters so approximately we can give probably like max, max distance is equal to 5 and let's try to run it so yeah so you have got company because we have got two, uh, the same name uh, it has taken company from uh, both the sides so we can uh, we can ignore it if you want but uh, yeah so the main thing is you have got the company name now you have got 300 here also and it also shows in which value of y you have matched so you can see that in cop has matched with apple inc and you have got the same value so this is how we can successfully replicate the approximate match feature of vlookup that we usually do on excel which is quite handy if you predominantly handle um, unclean or um, uh, messy data and uh, the same thing you can do it with uh, r and to again say this function is not only for this thing so you can also do approximate match on numeric values based on regular expression you can do it based on distance metrics and you can also do it for geographical like if let's say you're doing some kind of um, uh, clustering zip code clustering or longitude latitude clustering you can still match the closest zone uh, you you have uh, plenty of option i would recommend you to look at this packages github repo fuzzy joined by david robinson and uh, also you can now guess that how easy it is because uh, this excel uh, excel v lookup uh, approximate v lookup doesn't give you option to fix the number of characters but uh, because you are using a programming language like r in this case it gives you the flexibility to uh, to add uh, whatever you know uh, the number of characters you want to give so let's let's just do one more small uh, check for us to see um, how whether it works or not so instead of uh, facebook i'm going to call it facebook inc and when i do main you can see that i've got two ns and because i've got distance 5 it should ideally work and you can see that now facebook inc also has got 50 if i do just normal left join it's going to give me na but if i do string string distance left join it is giving me the actual value so that's the power of programming language for you to iterate quite fast so i hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any questions or if you want to see any of the excel feature please let me know in the comment section uh, see you in the next video